today is special because it's Mother's Day. Bass. It's a bass. Watch out, Tim. He's very competitive. Of course, I'll never be as good as him. The people who are fishermen in my family was my grandmother and Tim. The nice bluegill right there. My grandfather would go with my grandmother, but he would sit on the bank and read her ladies' home journal or good housekeeping magazines. <laughs> When I think about Mother's Day, it takes you back to to your youth, and I think about I think about the the nights that Mom would come in and and tell us a story, and the stories always involved animals and and great big grasshoppers you could ride on his back to another planet or some all these wild stories. Then when Jerry came along and we had our children, I knew that's what I wanted to be more than anything else in the world was a wife and a mother. No kissing. Here, can you one? <laughs> <laughs> Got one, Tim. You're adding to the table fare. Good. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I like this. Look at that. Mom is very adventurous and very hyper. How about that? It was bigger when it first came out of the water. That's a big, oh. Wind dries them out. We're going to have a fish fry. Mom would have foot races with us. You know, always just a lot of fun. And I can remember her, her encouraging us to sit down and, and draw and be creative and be artistic and to read. Debbie was the first one. She was the firstborn. Then came Tim. And then came Jonathan. She chose to, to uh, go ahead and stay home with us kids. And We both wanted to be there for our children. It was a time when if you stayed at home with your children, people would say, well, don't you want to work? And I would say, I do work. <laughs> I'm a wife and a mother, a housekeeper. I work. <laughs> they are finding that when they aren't with their children, they miss so much. They miss the first steps. They miss the first words. They miss smiles. They miss activities. And you can't get it back. You can never, ever get it back. Somebody else will see it, but you won't. Yeah, I got him. Okay, good. He's got me. Oh, I don't have my hand on here, Keep right. going, keep going. You and your bass, Mom. I bet you Granny would catch him if she was here. Granny Carr. She was, uh, she was, a, she was a sportswoman before it was popular to be a sportswoman. She would hunt. She's a great hunter. She could fish. She was a great fish, fisherman, fisherwoman. You know, sometimes I almost feel guilty. I hear, I hear stories of, of kids who had just a horrible childhood, and, and you know, I, I feel so sorry for them. But that's something that I'm never going to know. And uh, I think as parents, um, young parents, just starting out especially, uh, golly, spend some time with those kids. She, she was with us every minute and took care of us. We never had to wonder where, they, where she was or what was going on. And... Uh, I don't know, it's just, you know, again, I sometimes almost feel guilty because my childhood was carefree. Most of the time was spent out in areas like this, hunting and fishing and learning about nature, and she taught us and helped us out, so I am one of the, I'm one of the luckiest people in the world. I told my daughter once, she's talking about careers, I said, well, you and Timothy and Jonathan were my career, and it was the very best of careers, I believe. Oh, you're going to catch him now. Is that, look at that that's hawk. That's an osprey, Mom. That's osprey, an osprey, that's an osprey. He lives down here. Get ready, get him. Get your slack out, get your slack out instantly. All right, pull, 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 pull. You still got a lot of slack in your line, so when you pull your rod, nothing's going to happen because you got a bunch of slack out. I can't see my slack. Oh, here, we're going to I've got my glasses in my purse. We're going to get it in a paddle boat. What do you think? And paddle. And paddle. Hey, what are you going to do? Okay. This would at least get us a mobile. Speed zone. I'm We're gonna, in a speed zone now. Here. Don't forget. You realize this is one of my phobias, don't you? Phobia. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't do these sort of things except for you and your dad, <laughs> and that's it. Nobody else. What did you say, Mom? Pull your finger. We've had a really good day. I am so pleased. Keep on bringing him in. Keep on bringing him in. Okay, just, oh, he's nice. It's the most I have ever caught in my life. 
This has been a real, real Happy Mother's Day for me.